guys, it's G. Welcome back to another video. So today I really wanted to do a very long awaited and much needed favourites video. Personally, these are my favourite type of videos because not only are they my favourites, but I feel like I get to tell you guys my favourite products and also things that I feel like you guys would also enjoy. Um, and I just love them. I think it's very old school my style of video but before we get started please don't forget to subscribe to my channel but also don't forget to hit the notification bell button i know every youtuber says this but it's so important because my videos along with other youtubers don't even get seen or don't even get pushed thanks youtube we love that when you subscribe it's free you get free content twice a week Alright, so I'm just literally going to jump into this video because you no, know, I don't want it to be too long. She says. The first product that I'm going to tell you guys about is this foundation. Now this is the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumia, Lumia <laughs> Radiant Perfecting Foundation. I got sent this in the shade 2N1 Cashew. Now I've not tanned recently, I've been kind of staying pale trying to embrace my pale ill self i look dead half of the time at the minute i've just kind of wanted to give my skin a bit of a break from fake tan just with my skin being so dry at the minute and really like irritated i thought you know what basically just be your milk bottle self so i didn't actually own many pale foundations which is so bad i actually own a lot of darker like tanned foundations now i actually got sent this i think a month or two ago now um and oh my god i feel like most people have been sleeping on this foundation this is beautiful like i said it matches me perfectly it goes on like a dream like it's so lightweight i mean if you are a high coverage kind of gal or boy you definitely probably not most likely not gonna like this but it is buildable but for me i have like one pump will do my whole face it makes my skin look like skin it is beautiful the formula is gorgeous it's flawless without covering your skin too much if you know what i mean like it says on the bottle it is luminous so it's very glowy it's very natural um yeah flawless radiant natural perfecting it's beautiful it doesn't cover my freckles and my skin but it also just gives me enough it's like I would describe this foundation as a second skin, basically. Absolutely love this and thank you, Law Mercier, for sending me this because, oh boy, have I been sleeping on Law Mercier as a brand because I'm not going to lie, this isn't the only product I've got in here from Law Mercier. This brand is just something else. If you've got flawless foundation, your whole makeup is going to go amazing. So invest in a foundation. If you are, I do recommend this. It is obviously on the higher end of things because it's more mercier but you do get what you pay for it's incredible now i'm gonna bore you guys and give you another foundation i'm so sorry but i guess this month i've been really discovering more foundations i used to only use one type of foundation but i've been trying to you know experiment more if you guys would like to see a testing video i'd love to do that because a lot of products that i really want to try and test and things so Another one that I've been loving that I'm actually kind of nearly ran out of is the MAC Face and Body Foundation. This is a gem, a gem, a hidden bloody gem. The mad thing is, this bottle looks tiny. It's a plastic bottle, which I love. Can you believe that? This looks bigger, yet this has got more product in. This is 50 mil for what you get. This is incredible. So like it says, it's face and body. So you can use this on your face like skin in a bottle. It is literally skin in a bottle. It is a very, very lightweight foundation. I wouldn't even call it a foundation. I would call this a tinted moisturizer. It is beautiful. Again, it goes on your skin very flawlessly. It is less, it's probably the most, it's probably the most lightweight foundation I own and the least coverage as well. But again, you can build up on this. And I also like to use this paired with a more high coverage concealer if I'm having one of them days where maybe I do want a little bit of coverage maybe like in certain areas such as like my chin, my under eye. I love using a lightweight foundation. When I started using MAC makeup when I was 14, I'm now 22 and I've only just discovered 
MAC face and body. No wonder makeup artists have this in their kit because this, it again, like it's such a slept on foundation. Not a lot of people use it because it's like, oh, it looks a bit like nothing-y. Best foundation is a little bit darker than this. So this is in the shade M3. This is more suited to when I'm like a healthy tanned color. Not too dark, but like kind of like a little bit darker than I am now. And this is what I use at the minute while I'm pale and it's the best. So yeah, my favorite foundations for the past two months. And yeah, I love them, can't put them down, obsessed. I've got a hair on my face and it's really irritating. The hair is there, but I cannot see it. So you would have seen this product in my mask proof, no foundation makeup look, Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer in the shade N2, so it matches the foundation perfectly. Um, Beautiful, beautiful. This is the most easiest concealer. It doesn't crease, it doesn't cake. You need, you know, like a little amount and it spreads such a long way. It covers, yet it doesn't cake or look too heavy. It's like a beautiful medium, medium, I'd say it's like a medium coverage. It's not a high coverage, but this is my perfect concealer. I don't like high coverage concealer just because I like to build upon my bases. So this is perfect. I love the doe foot of this. Um, I think the doe foot is beautiful as well. It's very flexible and it's just a gorgeous like packaging. Everything about Laura Mercier, I'm not even gonna kid you, is my aesthetic. The fact that it's so minimal, it's so beautiful, but yeah, it's a banking concealer. Yeah, if you want a new concealer and you're in the budget, on to the Huda Beauty Face Bake and Blend Brush. Now it's double-sided. These brushes, double-sided, used to hate. I used to be like, what is the point? They used to annoy me. Now, they're like the best inventions ever. So one side is meant to be like a powder brush. And as you can see, it's like a domed, tapered, rounded, fluffy brush. And then on the other side, this is more tapered, angled brush. Now it's got a lot of, it's very dense, which I absolutely love. And this side, where it's got more of the angle, I actually use to apply my cream bronzer. I love using this for my foundation. I don't know why, but I've always loved using smaller brushes for foundations. I just feel like it's a lot more precise. I can control the product easier. It's just one of them brushes that blends out cream products. Also doesn't leave streaks, it's beautiful. This side is my favorite for a cream bronzer and it just fits perfectly like on my nose when I wanna give myself a little bit of a sun kiss glow around here. Like even my eyes, like I'm very wishy-washy with my makeup. I don't precisely put things. I want it to kind of look very blended and just natural in a way. And this is amazing, I love this. What I love to use along with this brush with this side is this now this is this i can't deal this hair is next level i love a cream bronzer i love me a powder bronzer but cream bronzers are just like the best i've been using this for about two months and this is the Stila complete harmony lip and cheek stain this is in the shade sun kissed bronze as you can see this is a cream stick bronzer so sometimes i'll take my brush and i'll kind of like dab it on and then some days i will literally take the actual bullet and pop it onto my cheek stamp it on i don't rub stamp the product on and then blend it out with the brush it's magnetic Love that. And it's just a lovely bronzer. It's pigmented without looking too much and it creams out. It creams out? Ooh. It blends out really lovely, very natural, but it's buildable as well. It's pigmented enough for you to see it. And I build this up, you know, in my eye socket. I use it on my cheeks. I use it on my nose. I love it. And I feel like I would love to get more, the more blusher kind of shades because this is amazing and again, Something I never hear anyone talk about. Now, this product is definitely for any of my boys or girls out there who love themselves a drugstore mascara. Not gonna lie, I feel like drugstore mascaras are so good. I feel like there's no point in spending so much on a mascara when the drugstore literally kill it. And 
L'Oreal palette with their mascaras. So this is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I am nearly all gone. I love it for my bottom lashes. They make them so long, so separated. It doesn't flake or transfer, which I think is a massive yes to a mascara. Love, love, love. Moisturisers are just one of my favourite things that I love trying. And when I got sent this one from Wishful, this is the Honey Balm Jelly Moisturiser. I knew I was going to love this. This has lavender in it, honey, turmeric. It's got some incredible ingredients in here. It smells amazing. I actually love using this day and night, but more at night with this brush. This is what I got sent with it as well. There's something so satisfying with applying your moisturiser with a brush, but it just makes sure that you really apply it in all your areas. It kind of sinks into your skin better. So I do use this with it and I love it. It's my favourite combo. Yeah. Wishful always kill it with their skincare obsessed. I really do think that Wishful is probably one of my favourite skincare brands. Can we talk about Lush's body sprays? AKA my new room spray. This is the Lush Let the Good Times Roll body spray. Oh my goodness, this is everything I want in a spray. Now it is expensive, however, because of the packaging, I love using this as a room spray because I obviously have my dog in my room. I like to have my room smelling nice. Not that my dog stinks, but you know what I mean? The thing is with me, I always love smelling good. So when my room smells good, bonus. My camera's just died, but I've just realized that I've just been filming this video with half a handle. I really apologize about that situation in the back. Oh my God, it's just incredible. Like the smell of this that fills your room, it reminds me of cozy autumn nights. It's like buttery popcorn mixed with like, obviously really sweet hot chocolate. It reminds me of hot chocolate. It reminds me of hot chocolate. Autumn it is incredible. It's so creamy. It reminds me of just cozy autumn evenings. And hello, that is like my favorite time of year. So I actually could use it as a body spray because it smells that good. But for me, I just think I've got that many different fragrances. I just wanted this as a room spray and it fills my whole room to a point where my friend could actually smell it way outside my room which is incredible because my door is just there and then obviously i've got like my own side bit of garden and no lie they could smell it way outside if you want a lovely room spray or you want a lovely body spray for yourself i definitely recommend the lush ones because of course they're vegan they're quality free they're obviously very natural and they are just the smell is beyond i guess this is like another homely favorite but a huge favorite of mine this month has been this beautiful candle. I actually own two of these, which is a white and a black one. My black one is actually where my dressing table is and my white one is where my editing office area is. And this is from a brand called Foam, I think it's called, F-O-M-M-E. I'll link her Instagram on screen and in the description. She sells the most beautiful candles, all inspired by redefining beauty standards and, you know, beauty image as well and she basically makes these beautiful candles. I think these are the most gorgeous things I own. I feel very bougie with it, I love it and I won't light it because it's too beautiful. They're just perfect. My favourite additions to my room, they make any room look 10 times bougier and as well it's got a beautiful meaning behind it and you know, you know me, you guys know me, I'm all about redefining beauty standards and basically destroying them because I don't like beauty standards at all. And I feel like it's just very me to have this. Guys, you need to check her out, love them. Oh, so beautiful. I feel like I'm definitely gonna do a fashion favorite. One thing that I will mention in this video has been <laughs> A splurge, let's just say, but these are my Gucci trainers. I'm definitely into spending money on like belts and bags, but not necessarily shoes because I can't really get a lot for my size. However, thank you Gucci for bringing out these for my size because this is an iconic moment. This is huge. Get these obviously in much bigger sizes like adults, but I can get mine. I have to obviously get kids, which we all know I get kids. Hello, I'm tiny, but I love them. They were worth the splurge and they do go with everything I wear. They're chunky, they're comfy, 
and I just wanted to treat myself a few months ago and yeah, they definitely are my babies and I'm definitely getting my use out of them. I love them so much. My camera has died because uh, that's on filming all day. A favourite that I feel like most of you guys would already know about. The Mark Hill Pick and Mix Handle and the Smoothing Brush. Now the pick and mix range at Mark Hill is probably my favourite range ever. I love Mark Hill as a brand, I use most of their products daily, honestly I just love them. And they have just released, literally I received this yesterday, but they just upgraded the handle of the pick and mix and how adorable! It's Dalmatian. Now, years and years ago, and I'm talking really, really young, I used to be obsessed with Dalmatians. Of course, I had to pop on my Dalmatian handle, but the actual, like, just this tool in general is, it's really been one of my favourite products. It smoothens and straightens my hair in no time at all. It's so easy to use. It's perfect for me because I don't have the strength for straighteners really, like I don't have a lot of strength to be able to push them. So for me, this is not just, you know, incredible product, but it also helps me physically, which I love. It's so easy to use. It has a button to turn on and off and it literally just screws off and on. Pop on my corkscrew head or the straight and curl head or the waver, anything, which I love. So at the minute, I've just got my smoothing brush one because this is what I use every single day. If you want something that you can buy different heads for, that is just so easy to use, that's not gonna break the bank, check this out because it's incredible. I love it. And especially their new handle, it's just, all right guys, so that is it for my favourites vid. I do hope you enjoyed. I would love to know what you guys have been loving recently. Let me know in the comments. And yeah, I'm gonna love you and leave you and I'll see you in the next vid. Mwah.